ಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ ಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ ಸೂತ್ರ ಥಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಒನ್ ಒಕೇಶನ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡ್ವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾವತ್ತಿ ಇನ್ ಜೇತಸ್ ಗ್ರೋವ್ ಅನಾಥ ಪಿಂಡಿಕ ಸ್ಪಾರ್ಕ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಲೇ ಫಲೋವರ್ ಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವಿತ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಲೇ ಫಲೋವರ್ಸ್ approached the blessed one paid homage to him and sat down to one side seated to one side the lay follower dhammika addressed the blessed one in verses i ask you gotama one of broad wisdom how does a good disciple act whether one who has gone from home to homelessness or those lay followers who live at home for you know the cause and destination of the world together with its devas there is none equal to you one who shows the subtle meaning for they say you are the excellent buddha having directly experienced all knowledge you reveal the dhamma talking compassion on beings your coverings are removed you are the universal i stainless you shine radiantly in all the world eravana the naga king come into your presence when he heard you are the conqueror having consulted with you he departed excellent delighted to have heard your words king besavana kuera also approached you inquiring about the dhamma when questioned you answered him o wise one and he too having listened was delighted adherents of other sex given to debate via ajivakas or nigantas all fail to overtake you in wisdom as one standing cannot overtake one walking swiftly these brahmins given to debate and also some who are elder brahmins are all dependent on you for meaning and are others who think themselves debaters for this dhamma subtle and blissful has been well proclaimed by you o blessed one all wish to hear that alone when asked declare it to us supreme buddha all the bhikkhus sitting together and the lay followers as well wish to hear it let them hear the dhamma realized by the stainless one as the devas listen to vasavas best spoken words listen to me because i will proclaim to you the cleansing dhamma all retain it in mind a thoughtful person seeing the good should adopt that deportment proper for a monk a bhikkhu should not wander at the wrong time but at the proper time he should walk to the village for alms for ties stick to one given to untimely wandering hence the buddhas do not wander at the wrong time forms and sounds tastes or odors and tactile objects drive beings mad having removed desire for these things at the proper time one should enter for the morning meal then 
having obtained arms on that occasion having returned alone one should sit down in seclusion reflecting inwardly one should not let one's mind wander outside but should keep oneself collected if he should converse with a disciple or with anyone else or with a bhikkhu he should speak about the sublime dhamma he should not slander or criticize others for some contend in debate but we do not praise those of slight wisdom ties from here and there stick to them for they send their minds far away arms a dwelling with bed and seat and water to wash the dirt from his cloak having heard the dhamma taught by the fortunate one a disciple of the one of excellent wisdom should use this reflectively for in regard to arms food a lodging and water to wash the dirt from his cloak a bhikkhu will not cling to these things as a water drop does not cling to a lotus leaf now let me tell you the householder's duty how one should act to become a good disciple for this entire duty of a bhikkhu cannot be carried out by one with possessions having put down the rod towards all beings toward those in the world both firm and frail one should not kill living beings or cause to kill not should one approve to others who kill next a disciple should not knowingly take anything not given anywhere one should not cause stealing or approve of theft one should entirely avoid taking anything not given a wise person should avoid impure conduct as one would avoid a blazing pit of coals but if one is incapable of the celibate life one should not transgress with other spouse one who has entered a council or an assembly should not speak falsely to anyone one should not make others lie or approve of false speech one should entirely avoid speaking untruth a householder who espouses this dhamma should not indulge in intoxicating drink he should not make others drink or approve of drinking having understood that this ends in madness because of intoxication foolish people do evil deeds and they make others heedless for to such deeds one should avoid this basis of demerit delightful to fools causing madness and delusion one should not kill living beings or take what is not given one should not speak falsely or drink intoxicants one should abstain from sex from impure conduct one should not eat at night outside the prescribed time one should not wear garlands or apply perfumes one should sleep on a bed or a mat on the ground for this they say is the eightfold uposatha observance taught by the buddha who has reached the end of suffering hence confident in mind having observed 
the opositor complete with its eight factors. On the 14th, 15th and 8th of the fortnight and during special periods. In the morning, the wise person who has observed the uposatha, rejoicing with a confident mind, should distribute food and drink to the bhikkhu sangha in a fitting way. One should righteously support mother and father. One should engage in a righteous business. A heedful lay person observing this practice reaches the devas called self-luminous. Thank you.